everybody. This is No Way Net Family. And we are excited to be here again. Thank you for joining us. We're really excited. We had a phenomenal time in the Maldives, did we not? It was incredible. It was incredible. Uh, matter of fact, we definitely want to go back there. If you get the chance to go there, we highly, highly recommend it. But we've had an even better start here in the Philippines. Philippines. Now, um, what do you guys think so far since we've been here? We love it here. It's, it's been a great time so it. far. It's our home away from home. So we, we've landed here. We are in an awesome hotel, first of all. Let's give a shout out to uh, the Richmond Hotel where we're staying. And uh, we just love it here. We'll have more to share about that uh, as we go along. But, uh, you know, right out of the gates, you know, uh, getting here, we're actually in Iloilo in the Philippines right now, which is where we're at right now. Right out of the gates, you know, right? Uh, what did we do? Uh, one of the first things we got to experience, Sam, getting Chinese here. Chinese New Year. Chinese New Year? Got here just in the nick time. Just in the nick time. So, uh, and, and what was kind of fun about it? We got here, and the next thing we know, it's a Chinese New Year, a day or two later, and tell, yeah. you know, tell them a little bit about so, what we got to do. We got to watch your, like a dragon show. Dragons. Dragons. Lions. Dragons. Lions. Drums. Lots of uh, people that kind of held up the tail yes. and going all over the place, right? Yeah, and what year is it? It's the year of the is it the year of the dog? Yes, uh, I believe the year of the dog. Okay, so the year of the dog. So Bruce right out of the gate, that was a lot of fun, though. You know that uh, we got to see that. We saw a couple ceremonies and. And uh, like you were saying, it's like four of them just to run the head and front part. Yeah. And then there's like, what, another 10 or 15 that run all the way to the tail? Yeah. So that was a lot of fun. And then, then right after that, Cody, what did we get to do that was a lot of fun? A zombie run. What was it again? Zombie run. A zombie, zombie run. Zombie. And so, it, it's exactly what it sounds like. So, You're running uh, from zombies. So, and where did we, we actually went to a place called Aesop College. And it was kind of a fundraiser for a local college. But Cody, share a little bit about uh, what we did there and kind of how it all worked. Okay, so this is the rules, kind of. Uh, there's zombies placed all over this runway, kind of. Or actually a big, like a big grass field. field. A big, huge field in yeah. the college. And then you try not to get tagged with this paint that they have. It's um, it's different colors to represent the teams of the zombies. And so then they basically had like paint and they had zombies all over. We had to try to run around. It's an obstacle course. Like an obstacle yeah. course. But then they would put, what, put their hands in the paint. And then the way they would, if they got you, what would they do with their hands with all the paint on they it? They would like slap you. <laughs> so that was how they would get you. So you would know if you were gotten... If by how many handprints were on your face and, and by your what shirt. color, because there are certain parts of the obstacle course that were red and other ones were orange and blue and green, and so you'd know which part that you could so the course that. And did they get us, or did, did we have any handprints on us? Oh, I got yeah. yeah. We, we, we were painted like from head to toe, weren't we? Head to toe. <laughs> zombie Run 2. Here we come. Elo Elo Zombie Run 2. Are you ready?
Sammy, you're doing good. Come on, Sammy. You're almost there. Woo! Uh-oh, go. Run, Sam. Run. <laughs> Woo! You did it. Give me five. A lot of fun so right out of the gate we got to do the Chinese New Year we got to enjoy the zombie run which was a lot of fun not only that uh, one of the incredible thing here, things here is the people are incredible we love just so much like India we absolutely love the people we just right out of the gate we made some really dear friends at uh, at this college where we're at matter of fact uh, the people who are running the zombie run actually had us come up on stage they had you guys as they were teaching everybody what to do for the event you guys came up and you got to dance on stage with yeah, them. The and, and, yeah. It was a lot of fun. So right out of the gate, like I said, we, we had a great time. And it was at the College of Science and Technology. Yeah, so yeah, it's, yeah. Science, and science and technology. And then, and then Mom, what's uh, one thing that uh, you guys get to experience that we really never thought about? Uh, the, the, the first spa thing you got to oh, do. Oh, my goodness. So they have here fish spas where you stick your feet in the water and the fish suck. It's so ticklish, I can barely stand it. And they get up there, the smaller they are, the more ticklish they are. And then they, they have the big They have fish, like the big fish. The big like koi fish, fish, this big. And you feel, I don't, I guess they have teeth, but you can feel them munching on your feet. So the little ones tickle, but the big ones you just, yeah. So, and Cody said that one fish mm, stuck his mm, entire mm, mouth no, around his toe and just went to town. Yeah, I, I literally raised 
Say it's worth it because afterwards your their baby stuff. So we've been several times. We like yes. that. So that was, and they have like different tanks. They're basically different yeah, aquariums different with different sized fish, like Carrie said. And you you just stick both your. Now I didn't do it, but you you basically stick your feet in there. They go to town eating your the, the dead skin away. And by the time you get done, you have the smoothest feet wherever. Did Mom make a sound or two on her first visit to the fish farm? <laughs> she made noises I have never heard in my life. <laughs> so did she have a little bit of an audience? Oh, Was that all the different sounds and screams the first time Mom did? I so. embarrassed myself and my family. I apologize from the bottom of my heart. I couldn't contain myself. I was, I kind of made a scene. So, but uh, but now you've been, since that since been back a couple of times and everybody, you know, with the exception of me, absolutely, absolutely love it. So that was, uh, go ahead. And this, okay, and they also have spas here. Just um, foot massage, scalp massages, very inexpensive on t compared to America. Once, twice, three times a week sometimes. Yeah, we so, love that. So basically a full hour massage is going to cost you about you know, two and a half dollars, you know, maybe three dollars. You know, two hour massage is going to cost you around six dollars. So, uh, we kind of have a deal now on Sunday nights. We do family foot massage a night on Sunday nights, and we go and we all sit next to each other. We all get like an hour foot massage on, on that. So, lots, lots of fun. Um, another really fun thing for us, uh, we have some dear friends here, actually, in Elo Elo that we reconnected with, and one of them is Pastor Mark, and they have a phenomenal church that we're really excited to be able to be a part of and be able to worship at and, and, uh, and join with them during our stay here. So. Hey, uh, kids, what, what's some of your favorite things about uh, uh, going over to the church there? Because I know you guys made a lot of fun, uh, yes. a lot of friends, and maybe you guys, Cody, why don't you go first and share a little bit about your um, I've got, I've made a lot of new friends there. Um, all the people at the um, church, JCF. So, mm -hmm. so um, adults, kids, in between. <laughs> so. so, yeah. I really look forward to going there on yeah. Sunday. You guys may have made some good friends. It's one of the fun things for us along the way is, is uh, you know, the kids are really meeting a lot of people and they're finding a lot of other kids to play with and make friends with, which has been a lot of fun. Yeah. And one of the other really great things uh, about the church is uh, we, we get to work with them uh, involved in a lot of outreach as well. And so we have uh, every other Thursday we go out to a, a pretty impoverished area and we get to work with the kids out there. Cody's got some great buddies out there. Sammy, you have some great yeah. friends out there. later uh, but it's one of our favorite things to do but so we're, we feel really fortunate that we have some dear friends and uh, an incredible church that we're going to here as well so um, and then also uh, Sammy did you, did you have something you want to share? Um, About going to Lynette or um, yeah, Lynette. yeah Lynette. Lynette. I like going out there we help out pass out the food and help with the games and the songs it's yeah really so it's a lot of fun to, to work with all the kids out there around the families so yeah. Um, and then on another note, uh, did you have another point too? No, okay. I was going to mention um, doing stuff talking about outreach. There was a fire behind our hotel here at the Richmond, and we found out that it was a bunch of workers that are working on a mall that's here in the Mega World area, and they lost their housing. Half of them, they a whole barracks got burnt to the ground, and so they're all double sleeping in these very small barracks. And so we brought some food over to them and some toiletries and some yeah. means to get them through. So another thing that we went through. Yeah, so we had a chance, and that was with the church. We had a chance to go over and talk with them and meet with them 
and uh, like Harry said, the uh, there's what there is is they basically have some land behind the hotel, and the developer of this huge development that's going on around us uh, puts up these temporary barracks, and a lot of them burned down. So it was it was uh, we were fortunate to be able to part of that, and and uh, and all these things really are more of a blessing for us than, than the small things we're able to do for them. But it's it's so great to be part of this church together. And then the hotel where we're at, once again, more to share on that down the road, because it's, it's, we can't say enough good things about it uh, here at the Richmond. Uh, but there's a big development going on here in Mega World, and, and maybe, you know, it's kind of fun over at the, the Festive Walk, which is just a block away. What do they have going on for the next couple of months here? Uh, and what do we do um, up at the Festive Walk? So they have, like, the street food area, where, like, um, they have all these cable, like, cars from like a train yeah. food trucks food trucks yeah. yeah. but they made them out of old um, containers from the train and they The other thing is they have, what else do they have? They have like music that plays, live bands, live 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 bands and entertain. <laughs> uh, then they have a whole row of restaurants up there too, aside from that, because they close off the street. And then when we go up there, what's one of the favorite things you guys like to do? Trample. The trampoline. The trampoline. I love doing flips up there. So they, they have a trampoline that the kids love uh, going up there and jumping around on as well. Speaking of trampolines, uh, just about half a mile the other direction we found out, there's a really cool, uh, it's called the Esplanade. Uh, Esplanade. And it's kind of a river walk and it's a really beautiful uh, brick paved walk that uh, takes you around a part of the river here on both sides. They have restaurants and it's really nice and clean. Uh, but. What is your favorite thing to do? Jet lag. It's jet a trampoline lag. park. It's not jet lag. It's right. not a, just a trampoline park. They also have like park and really steep sides and you go like foam pits. Literally, it's going vertical. Literally. There's, There's one, favorite. my favorite. You hold back, like you hold on to a rope and then you let go and you drop into the slide <laughs> that lands in a foam pit. There's not much fun. It's not much fun. But it's uh, a lot of fun. Do you have one of your favorite things to do? It's 
And they had not only the trampoline part, but they have that, the slides, they have the basketball hoops. Yeah, they They've have got like the, little go karts that you pedal. We haven't done those yet. But yeah, on the outside. Yeah, yeah, on the outside. On the outside, too. But uh, that's definitely been a lot of fun for you guys, and they've got fun music that plays in there, and and uh, so that's been a lot of fun as well. Yeah. And um, then we we'll talked a little bit about shopping and pearls and stuff. Huh? So as you know, I'm a jeweler. I love jewelry and making creations. Well, here is the, as far as I'm concerned, it's the pearl capital of the world. I don't know if it is, but my standards it is. And just all the pearls here, I want to buy every single one of them. They've got South Sea pearls and then the pearls that I, you know, freshwater, they just have. So I don't kid in the candy store. So every time I can, I get down to the pearl market and do some shopping. And, yeah, I love it. Yeah. So, and once again, since we don't have a whole lot, one of the things we love too is, uh, you know, if there happens to be a piece of clothing or something we need, uh, you know, since we didn't pack much, you know, we can just go shopping, which I have been to, by the way, the shopping mall here more times to a mall than I've ever been in my life. Uh, it's, it's, you know, a lot of fun for you guys, for the most part. But do you guys enjoy going over the mall over there? Yeah. It's a big, really nice mall. It's huge and it's air conditioned. And it's really warm here compared to what we're used to in the States. So it's very muggy, hot and sticky. So the nights here couldn't be any better. The nights are perfect. The mornings are very nice. However, during the day, you need a little room. So yeah. we'll the mall. And the movie theater is over there. And the, yeah. So you haven't seen the movie theater. Yeah. And then what do you guys think about the food? Food. Uh, yeah. yeah, if you've ever heard of Balut. It's a fertilized duck egg. Yeah, it's like my favorite. That's your favorite. And then uh, the garlic rice, oh, and some of the dishes, and uh, we have to give a shout out to uh, Maribel's, uh, Alex's restaurant, her family's Maribel's, restaurant, yes. or Maridel's, I'm sorry. Maribel's. Uh, boy. Or Maridel's, I'm sorry. Maribel's. Uh, boy, Cody, what's what's your favorite over there? Ooh, um, the, it's like the ubi cake. The ubi cake. Yeah. Okay, so it's like a flavoring. And, and then purple. Sammy, what about you? I like the ice cream sandwiches. Ice cream sandwiches cookies. and ice cream and cookies. So, but the food has been phenomenal. Uh, we we're we're not losing any weight here. We are trying to get into the gym more now and, and get in shape, but uh, it's hard because the food here tastes so good and there's such a wide variety uh, that we've enjoyed that quite a bit. So, um, what else can we share about that uh, that you guys have really enjoyed? Um, um, do, uh, the piano. The piano. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, we're home, still homeschooling. Actually, the kids have finished up for the year and so they've already started for next year. So, yeah. which is incredible that they were able to get through the homeschooling. So for PE, we do jet lag or we hit the trampoline, you know, trampoline, swimming and gym. But then we also decided to take up piano lessons. So it's been a lifelong dream of mine. I've always wanted to do it and I was able to drag the kids along. Yeah. Perfect, so we're doing that. Yeah, to do these things on the road so you know you're, you're, you're just like, almost like you know people said oh you know how, how's your vacation going and we, we always tell everybody you know we're not on a vacation yeah. uh, you know I'm still working full-time and uh, this is really now more of a lifestyle for us so to be able to incorporate these types of things is, is a lot of fun and like you said the, the kids are doing really well with their homeschooling way yeah. of schedule on that yeah. and then uh, also you know with the what about the jiu-jitsu what do you guys think about uh, some of the jiu-jitsu lessons you guys are taking we're all black belts and yeah. so we thought we'd try something different they're all black belts okay. I'm well protected <laughs> they're the black belts you do we're doing that and we were looking at taekwondo so we haven't got into the martial arts yet but I think we will later but right now we're but it's been taking different classes. We've taken co different cooking classes and stuff all around the world. So they're not just having homeschool, which is important to learn the basics, but we're also doing this stuff all around the world, which is uh, what a gift. And just, you know, on the, the you did go to the, on the one particular jujitsu uh, training and class you did, mm -hmm. you guys came back and what did you put on do to dad with what you learned? <laughs> I put him in a chokehold. The chokehold. <laughs> 
We had to test them. So they, they learned that the new chokehold, which works really well, <laughs> let me tell you. You know, we really just wanted to, to share, give you a quick update. You know, we're, we're just getting started here in the Philippines. Uh, we're going to be here for a little while. Uh, we have some really exciting things uh, that we're going to be doing and sharing with you along the way. But, uh, you know, just wanted to let you know, hey, we're here. We're getting started. we got a lot more to share. We uh, are really excited about uh, these next few months here that we're going to be sending. Yeah. Yes. So, anything else in closing? Uh, no, just that we've had a lot of fun so far. So. Say I'm in here. Um, we love it here, it's really nice. It's like being with family. Yeah. Yeah. Food, festival walk, jet lag, traffic. And Karen makes a good point. It, uh... I think having we you know we have been here before, so we do have some friends here and what have now. But but even with the the people that we have just met, or new friends we make, uh, so accommodating and so like you were saying. I mean, we feel truly like we have an extended family here. Uh, and then, like I said, we'll talk more about the hotel we're at and how that pertains to them as well. But uh, I think that's it for now. We just want to give you a little taste. That's just what we've done out of the gate. Yeah. You know, we have a whole lot more coming, so uh, uh, we'll get into a lot more detail then. But uh, I want to thank you again for watching, uh, you know, and, uh, and following along in our journey. And we look forward to some feedback from you. But uh, I think that's about it for now, right? That's about it. All right. So bye for now from the Winged Family. Bye, everybody. Take care. Bye.